All right, everybody, we are here. Um, I think, hold on, I think my mic is picking up, but everybody else's isn't. One second. Hmm, all of you talk for a second. Hello. Oh, good. You're perfect. All right. Hello, everybody. Hi. Thank you so much for rating in. Uh, sorry, it did take us a minute. Uh, the the powers of um, doing uh, multi person streams. It does take a little bit more work to get everything going behind the scenes. Today, we're going to be playing Oops All Draculas. Um, specifically, my little setting that I call what we do in the suburbs. Uh, everything takes place in the suburbs of some city. It doesn't necessarily need to be a specific one. It's generally the Midwest, though, because that's what I do. Uh, I would like to thank you so much for something that just happened. Uh, one second. Wow. I don't know what it uh, was. A miracle. A miracle happened. That's right. Uh -oh. You're welcome. I'm a miracle man. I, I usually have my little thing, but it's not here. Hmm. Where'd it go? Tools. Ooh, I should go into that. Twitch and see what's going on. You should, yes. If you could you keep should. track of things for me, that would be helpful. But I won't. Ah. I will. I will. I'll do my. I'll do my best. I know you're. A, you're a good. Good guy. Oh boy, yeah. turn that down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so I do want to say today we are doing uh, uh, this kind of like a benefit stream, a helping out stream. We're helping out a friend. We are streaming to help support our good friend, uh, Psyche Siren, and her spouse as they're trying to move out of a state that is uh, becoming increasingly less friendly uh, for LGBTQIA folks. Um, even just this week, things got worse. Uh, so they are uh, trying to move, and this is just to kind of help with some moving expenses and to help speed that along. Um, Cody is sneezing his brains out right now. Uh, <laughs> Cody is allergic to charity, uh, is the and answer. And he has precious few brains to spare, so this is actually a pretty dire situation. It is. It is. Um, so you can type explanation point incentives to see all the expense, the incentives that we have going um most of them have to do with us doing voices or affecting the game however you can make me take a big bite of this banana pe peel and all for 35 dollars if you do donate that and um you donate here so um without further ado a little bit about oops all dracula all of these players are vampires um they're different types of vampires we're going to learn a little bit about them uh, we're going to build their house and then they're going to have a problem that they need to solve in the next two hours. And we're going to see if they can do it because we've only got two hours. <laughs> I will be the Dracula master. My name is Corinne. Some of you know me as Pixie. Uh, you can find me as Manic Pixie Girl most places. You can call me whatever you want, really. Today, I'm your Dracula master. Um, so take that as you will. And uh, we're going to go around and introduce the players. Um, we'll start with Rune, who's right below me. Rune, who are you? What do you do? Who are you playing? Uh, hi, I'm Rune. I, what do I do? Right now, not a lot. Uh, I make art sometimes on the internet uh, where other people can see, which is turning out to be a really interesting career choice right now. Uh, I am playing uh, Lord Valentine Oberon, uh, who is 1,600 years old. And the best description that I can give of Lord Lord Oberon is Mr. Rogers, but chaotic. <laughs> so Mr. Rogers in his young years. Before we saw him as Mr. Rogers, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, next up, we have Cody. Who are you? What do you do? And who are you playing? Wow. Hello, everybody. I uh, am Cody. I am one of the people behind Reroll. Uh, I run a lot of games and reroll. Uh, and I, tonight, am going to be playing the aristocrat Lord Augustus Darkvale. Uh, not quite as old as Rune's uh, vampire, but he's a Revolutionary War uh, uh, vampire on the British side, of course. Oh, and, of course. Uh, yeah, of course. He, you know, he's, he's he lives in the colonies. It's fine. <laughs> All right, very nice. Um, James, what about you? Who are you? What do you do? Who are you playing? So I'm James, and I go on the socials um, at Diceborn, and I'm also one of the um, 
people that helps run keep um, reroll running. And I am playing Morty D. He is a Nosferatu. He's about 5,000 ish years old, but looks about 65. So kudos to him. <laughs> he, he's got the magic sauce. He's looking yeah, good. Well, he thinks he's, he's going to, he thinks that he's younger than he actually is in everything that he does. Oh, so keeping the mind young, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> All right. Last but certainly not least, Megan, who are you? What do you do and who are you playing? Hi, Corinne spoiled it. My name's Megan. Like, <laughs> you just gave it away. I'm what sorry, I, I should have kept it a secret. Supposed to. <laughs> right, uh, I'm not one of the people behind reroll. I'm one of the people in front of reroll. Hi, I'm here. Like every other Friday, sometimes it's been we've had stuff going on. To, used used to could might could again okay. every other it Friday. Will happen uh, when life calm. When 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 life, when life calm? When life stop? <laughs> stop life, please. When world end. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm here. When I'm here, this is where I live. Um, I will be playing Tiffany Lawless today. She just had her 900th birthday this year. It's very exciting times. She's she's the young end of the group, I hear. I'm I'm the baby. The baby. <laughs> the baby, baby Nosferatu. The baby Nosferatu. <laughs> just just a little little young old looking <laughs> friend here. <laughs> yeah, just a little, just a little friend. She looks pretty young. She looks in her early twenties. Oh, good probably. for her! Looking yeah. good, looking good. Yeah. Um, all right, so I am your Dracula master. I will be guiding you through this game. Uh, the very first thing we have to figure out is um, your house. So now, uh, Rune has some experience here building a house in. Um, Oops, all Draculas. But here, here are the things that we're going to try and figure out. So, um, the house represents safety. The house is the place the Draculas can truly be themselves. Have or you get to have and create, decorate it to your effect, uh, to like whatever you like. Can this house can be? Um, while you're making uh, power plays inside the house, you add one d six to your roll because you are comfortable in that environment. Um, and you may grant that 1d6 to any guest inside your house as well. Now, to create the house, we have a few questions to answer. First off, what type of protection does the house have? For instance, wards, alarms, animal defenses, brambles, etc. So, like, how are you guarding your house against intruders coming inside? Hmm. Uh, Tiffany's a big fan of moats. I don't know how well we can get away with that in the modern era like a really just massive water feature perhaps she would be advocating <laughs> for moats and alligators <laughs> well i guess the question is uh is this a suburb in florida because i think that's the only place you could have alligators and it not be super fucking weird uh, we could do louisiana oh Some louisiana might... would work too Gotta be honest, I don't know the difference between alligators and crocodiles. Tiffany doesn't either. She doesn't care. That's big snappy things. So if you so. want big snappy things, do you want to be in Louisiana or Florida? Otherwise, you're in the Midwest because that's where I put this generally. <laughs> I mean, for mm. what it's worth, property values in, in Mississippi are uh, extremely good right now. Maybe we're enriching the area. Who knows? All right. So would you like to be somewhere you can have all alligators or crocodiles in your moat? Because uh, I'll allow it if if that is what the family decides. Yeah, I Lord I think that Augustus. would be great. Yeah. I would I would actually love to have both. <laughs> both. Alligators and crocodiles. Yes. They mm. are from Do different they climates. Mix? No. I know. No. No. I think they mix like polar bears and penguins, which is we feel like they should. Therefore, <laughs> they don't. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> yeah, but if, keep in mind, we don't care. We don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have alligators and crocodiles in a house in the what middle of a lake. Uh, uh, mate, are you on an island in the middle of a lake? That's a fantastic idea. What better moat than just being on an island <laughs> now, in, the in the middle of a fucking? Oh, lake. I think we had a donation. Uh, uh -oh. oh, I've got to bite the banana. Oh, All right. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Already? Uh, Eat yeah. The banana. Scrubs has donated thirty-five dollars for me to bite the banana. Question, Scrubs. Um. 
do you want this to be a uh, stem first? Do you want me to bite the stem? Or will you let me take the side? Oh, God. What in the Christ? Why would you do this to yourself, Corinne? Uh, I've done it two, three times before. It's, uh, I'm surprisingly good at it, is the, the answer. <laughs> How is one good at I biting need a banana? Like, what is that in the <laughs> Uh, I absolutely need to having adult. good teeth, not minding weird tastes, um, and being shameless. Hmm. I have. Fair enough. Uh, Fair you can't things? clip it. Uh, all right. I I'm gonna I'm gonna go side because I haven't heard from Scrubs. Uh, because yeah. that I it's think a little, it's dealer's choice here. It's a little bit more uh, it, better than just right here. So, all right. Mmm, that's mm. so good. Made a mm. small crunch. Why? Yeah, uh, that's oh, you're so eating good. it too. Yeah, like, you're not. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. are. You. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, time to ban that mo going mother hacker. Oh yeah, ban that. There's yeet it's, into the beyond. It's ban the weird, mod. but it's not bad for you, you know. Yeah, I'm not a mod. Sorry. Uh, Cody, can you ban ban that bat? I'm also not a mod. Ban hammer. Bonk. Hammer it. It's hammer time. Da 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 da. I think we've decided we're, we're in a giant Roman island. We've got a, a dog. giant lake that has crocagators. 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 Um, I banned the bot. Also, if you want to give crowd. mod powers to Car Carmanthia um, in the chat, as well as out oh. of scrubs, that would be great. Ooh. That will give us um, an extra uh, little... Yeah, visibility. Yeah. Did we get swearing banned? Out of scrub said something ominous. Uh -oh. Time to talk like you're back in the truth, youth group. Who got it? Mm. All right. There we go. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will keep eating this banana if you keep donating $35. I will take the stem. Um, oh, I, Corinne, what the hell? No. I'll take the, the bottom of it. Um, Can I, no, don't do that. I don't, I don't have the any bottom. money because, like, I would donate money for you to not do this. <laughs> yeah. It, but I'm an artist, so... It's just extra fiber. Um, <laughs> mm. But for some people, for mm. us, I proved that I won't choke on it uh, during the last charity stream, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to keep my mind pure. Like, yeah, it was something gag to be. reflex, something, yeah, something. something, yeah. Yeah. something. Yeah. I uh -uh. proved I was a throat goat is... A, that mm, was literally sad. That's a that's a words <laughs> that have come out of your face. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is it's been a long week. Anyway, that yes, is something I will use later. <laughs> <laughs> writing down. Yeah, the writing down. Note. That is actually brilliant. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, all right. <clears throat> So you've decided that you are in the South, uh, in either the Mississippi, Louisiana uh, area, somewhere that you could have potentially a swamp. Are you looking to put your island in a swamp and then have gators and crocodiles in it? Or you want a lake that is not swampy? Um, uh, Lord Augustus would prefer to, to not have a swamp so close. It doesn't do good for his, um, you know, everything. Okay, okay, so just a lake, not a swamp, but you do have alligators and crocodiles in it. He can, he's fine with that. All right. Now, why are children afraid of this house? Surrounded <laughs> by <laughs> crocodiles. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, any, itself. any other reasons besides being surrounded by uh, dangerous animals? <laughs> um... I have an idea. Ooh. Tiffany's a very dramatic sort. I feel like a project that she would have taken on sometime in the last 900 years or however long we've been living here is setting up a collection of like jugs strategically around the corners of the house so that when the wind blows, it goes, Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I love that. Organic yes. Yeah, okay, Absolutely. okay. So the house moans um, through these jugs. But in a spooky way. It <laughs> In a spooky way. Spooky way. Yeah. In yeah. a spooky moaning, spooky. I mean. Spooky. 
spooky groaning. The other moaning is a different configuration. We don't do that mm. very often. Yeah, you very done it. You occasion. did it accidentally once. You try to avoid it. Yeah, it's it's unsettling. <laughs> we got the neighborhood patrol called on us. Yeah, yeah they mm, thought yes, there was something yes. bizarre happening on the lake. Uh -huh. They don't like to talk about those times. Um, uh -huh. Okay, what creepy thing is living inside the house besides you? Uh, why won't it leave, and why do you like having it there? Oh, um, that's a fun. That's a fun thing. Like, could we have like a little? Yeah, like, we have multiple imp? things. Uh, we have in like, theory, a yeah. like a little imp fella, like a little scamp. I would say I'd like to have some type of shadow creature that always kind of follows me and tells me how I can be hip <laughs> because Morty D is his DJ name. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so there it's there. your uh, your hype man basically. <laughs> yes, there's yes, a, there's basically. a shadow hype man in the house. All right, so we have a shadow hype man, and then Cody, would you also like there to be an imp in the house? Yes, I would like that. Yes. What yes, does yes, the imp yes. look like? We have Shadow Hype uh, Man. I don't know. I'd say he's like the size of like I don't know a two year old. <laughs> he just and he's got really sharp teeth, <laughs> uh, but little bat wing ears. And then what does he do in the house, if anything? Uh, he steals things and he um, eats uh, leftovers. And is that why you like having him there? Because he eats leftovers? Oh, like a garbage yes. pizza? Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I like it, to it, think... Like actual this... food? I like so, to think ahead. that he lives in the vents and we can't get him out. Like, when we try, he just dives in there and that's how he scurries around the house. Oh, I like that. Like He's just like... <laughs> we can just hear him in the vents. It's like... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> around. And giggles. He giggles a lot. I oh. would like to request a ghost that... Uh, spells out motivational shit on the fridge with the letters. Okay, okay. Yes. I yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this is an old house. Of course it would have a ghost. Why not? Um, does the, the ghost spelling out motivational shit have a name? Uh, that's a good question. Dave. Please? Dave? Okay, so we have the Dave. ghost Dave. We have uh, Morty type man, and then we have the imp. Does the imp have a name? Oh, the imp? Yeah. Uh, little shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that just what you affectionately call him, or is he have not? Is has he not given you a that, name? No, he he doesn't. He doesn't give a shit enough. Give us a name. He's just he's just there, and I just call him little shit. Okay, okay, so he's just, he hasn't given a name, you've given him one, and he's cool with it because he gets to eat the leftovers. Yeah, he gets to eat whatever the fuck he wants. All yeah, right. Absolutely. Uh, and the imp, uh, does he make nests out of lint and leftover socks? Uh, the people want to know. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure, okay. he does that. <laughs> Stylized oh, as l ill shit. Oh, um, <laughs> all right, what is broken inside the house? My sense of purpose. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I was getting ready to say something similar. You know, so my, all of you are broken inside the house. Yeah, I, I oh. assumed being in the middle of the lake, like we just can't get any good cell phone. So yeah, the like, internet. <laughs> it's yes, any kind of Wi-Fi cable. Like it's all shit. It's just that's mm. why we're having so much tension lately. Is yeah. You, you just want to be able to watch your streams and you can't. I just want my stories and I can't get them. Yeah, no. <laughs> and and I, want a, I want a steamboat that I can actually throw raves on. <laughs> I think it's a reasonable request, honestly. Um, it is a reason. Uh, I'd say that you can have a steamboat that you throw raves on. However, um, it's going to be hard to get people to come to your raves because of the weird howling house and all the alligators and crocodiles in the lake. I you can have the out. boat, but you're going to have to figure man. out how to get people on it. <laughs> no, what I do is I advertise it as, you know, we pick them up at the pier and we just go around the house <laughs> and then I drop them back off. Maybe, depending on, you know, if how you know, you the family's hungry. <laughs> all wow. right. All right. Um, and then... 
so how is this house annoying the neighbors? Which I would assume be the neighbors like around the lake. So this is like a lake community. You're in the center. Of course we are. <laughs> well, I mean, there's the rave boat. That's one thing. <laughs> that uh, is that is one thing. We feed the crocodiles. Alec Alec Croc the crocodiles. 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 The howling, for one thing. Uh, How are we not annoying the neighbors? <laughs> oh really? Yeah, honestly, the house easier. is like, like we are just obnoxious by our presence. I believe. <laughs> All right, um, and then what is your favorite part of the house, and why? Like individually? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll say individually. Hmm. Um, Morty D likes the attic. Because that's where he set up his turntables. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Shaking the whole uh, house. <laughs> Lord Augustus likes the library. He spends most of his time there working on uh, his novel that he will finish. Oh, of course he will. Sorry. You will. <laughs> uh this is uh lord lord oberon is visiting this is not technically his house however he does rent the astronomy tower for the uh showing of the Perseids every year which is why he's here uh so that is his it is warded against little shit um <laughs> if, if little shit tries to walk into the astronomy tower he turns into feathers <laughs> feathers just float around and can't do anything and, and then That's you awesome. like sweep him out and then he poofs back yep. <laughs> Yep, so the Astronomy Tower is warded against little shit. Dave's cool. Dave and I have an agreement. He he organizes my, ch my star charts. So. But, yes. Nice. And uh, last but not least, Tiffany. Tiffany has oh. built a um, lovely, pretty huge garden in the backyard. It would be an attractive nuisance if people didn't have to go through a lake of crocodators to get to it it's <laughs> gigantic it's got like a maze going on it actually has a huge vegetable garden just strange as we that. don't really eat them mm -hmm. uh, she does like to use the produce to entice and trap small animals what are you doing with the animals yeah. nothing except <laughs> your concern i just rent I mean, that is that there is concern to be had there um my problem but that's how dare Smart. you question a Nosferatu? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm now, just... I do want to ask, um, are there any bonds between uh, these, uh, like, your guys' characters? Because as you have bonds with each other, you can support each other in different ways and, and get gay, give different bonuses to each other. So, for instance, in um, Lord Oberon's last family, uh, last house, uh, he saw himself as the dad to everybody. So anytime he was acting in a dadly manner to the other characters, they got extra bonuses. So if you have a particular bond in some way, like you want to see, um, for instance, uh, Tiffany, if you are super interested in Morty D's DJ career, um, and Morty is uh, doing DJ things, you could give him bonuses to that. Um, but it could be just about anything. So what is your relationship to each other and how, like, the things that you do, how are you ins inspiring or inspired by each other? And it could be, you know, hunting. Perhaps one of you likes how the other hunts. Uh, perhaps one of you likes how savage the other is. Perhaps one of you likes how charming the other is. You know, it could be just about anything based on what your skills are. I, I think you hit the nail on the head with... Tiffany and Morty D. Uh, she's had a little bit of trouble adjusting to modern times. She gets stuck in her routines and then she looks around and it's been 200 years. Oh God, what's happening? Sort mm -hmm. of deal. Here's a fellow Nosferatu, much older and wiser than she is, still keeping up with the youths of today, getting mm -hmm. into all kinds of things she's never even heard of before. Mm -hmm. She had to go see what he's about. Just, just in awe of this man, truly an inspiration to a, a youngster like me. All right, so you look up to Morty, and so like yes. any time that you're interacting in that sort of way, um, you could gain bonuses for that, um, and you know he could gain bonuses for that, as well as specifically when Morty is doing things that have to do with connecting with modern society, um, you'll receive bonuses um, if you're interacting with each other. Uh, anybody else? Any other things that these other characters are inspiring within you? Well, I would say Lord uh, Darkvale has... 
uh, respect for a, a fellow aristocrat's wealth. Um, you know, uh, he, he, he does love money <laughs> a lot. Um, and he likes to see money being used for uh, personal gain and uh, prosperity of one's, you know, status and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, that is, that's one thing that he, he really, really appreciates. All right. So seeing the other uh, Draculas being, um, oh, I just had a word. Uh, Frivolous? Yeah, like frivolous. <laughs> Uh, like, do you want them spending money or earning money? Both. Oh, okay. So you just, you just want money changing hands and you're excited about it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All he right. He's an economist? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah, that's he, what he I'm does, hearing. He, he does follow the economy. Uh, um, and he's uh, he just really likes it when people, uh, you know, just kind of throw around their wealth. Question, like does he like to shit. eat the rich? Ah. Uh, oh, that he only feeds on people with a net worth of at least 200k. <laughs> well, <what? laughs> I am safe forever. <laughs> um, and so uh, you just you like seeing the other spending, gaining, uh, interacting with money. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. and you have a respect for uh, Lord Oberon because as a fellow aristocrat. Uh, you see. Oh yes, you could. He sees like the, the, they came up yeah. in similar way. You know, they they have a uh, certain worldview that the perhaps the others might not have. <laughs> not their fault. Hmm. All right. Um, well, what about Morty? How, how? What connection does Morty have here? What's Morty well, like? Morty to see? would definitely, definitely have a connection with um, Tiffany, um, especially since he is a big believer in experiences you know money he feels that it's like money will come and go because eventually everyone else dies and you could just take I it won't. then <laughs> so he's he's like the slow and steady you know wins the race type of thing and um and he likes to have fun you know he refuses to grow old so to speak but there are times where he will snap out of it and realize it's like who he really is and and just say hey this is how things should be All but right. uh he also has connections with the other two um not as strong but um he admires you know how articulate they are and exactly especially he loves libraries but he's just trying to get his dj thing off the ground nice nice and i think that um uh Gus uh would appreciate the the innovative entrepreneurial entrepreneur nope oh wow. entrepreneurial spirit entrepreneurial yeah there we absolutely. go Are, entrepreneurial yep. spirit I can't say that so one thing he does admire about the Americans is that they, <laughs> uh, that they you know the whole pulling oneself up by the bootstrap thing he's like yes 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 yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> works if you have a significant amount of money but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Money does help the world go round. Right. And lastly, Lord Oberon, uh, do you have any connections to these folks here besides renting out their uh, tower? I feel like Lord Oberon is a patron of the arts, so he absolutely supports Morty's uh, DJ business. Um, he's a purveyor of books, as we established in the last thing, so he has a connection to uh, Dark What Now? <laughs> Gus, we can Lord call him Augustus. Gus. Yeah. Lord Augustus. Yes, when, yes. I, 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 every time I come to to watch the meteor showers, I always bring a variety of first edition rare books that you're not really sure how I got them, but goddamn, there are nice books. Um, yes. Tiffany, I feel like we are the most estranged, but Lord Oberon enjoys seeing people living their best life. And and you might occasionally get a rare rose breed whenever he always brings gifts when he comes to this house. So for you, he brings rare roses. He brings odd plants, carnivorous plants. Uh, you know, a little hunk of meat for the for the crocodiles. Um, he doesn't understand you, but he respects you and wants you to be happy. Likewise, I think my connection, Tiffany's connection <laughs> to you, is that you are 
mysterious and have like an otherworldly for vampires kind of air <laughs> to you just constantly kind of an awe and watching you not really suspiciously just like what, what's next <laughs> i'm never boring he's back rub hands together um all right now i want to remind everybody in the chat that you can make these performers do things mainly with their voices Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can I don't have one. Uh, donate to have uh, us go ha- have a specific person do an awoo voice for five dollars. Uh, you can <laughs> donate. I want to say, by the way, runes awoo, fantastic! It is. You need to hear it. Five dollars, you get to hear that. Very disturbing. Oh, absolutely! It, it is a it sight. Uh, a sight to hear. That's what I was gonna say. That it is a sight to hear. Uh, Thank you, Corinne. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can have us do multiple different voices. Uh, everything is in that incentives there. Uh, you can tell us not to swear. It'll be really hard. Uh, and we add on time when we fail. You can give banes or boons to the players. You can give banes or boons to me. You can make things harder or easier. You can make me bite this banana again for $35. Please don't. <laughs> and please do, but please don't. Please, they don't want me to, but do you want me to? I'll bite it, and it'll be a big crunch. Um, yeah. So those are those are really it. Uh, we're here for a good cause to help our friend. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> Karma's voting that I bite the banana again. Not until we get another thirty-five dollars. Uh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we are are just trying to help our friend with some moving costs, um, trying to get her and her spouse to a a state that'll be safer for them to live um, and just a better overall experience. Um, And part of that is just helping with moving costs, helping with uh, paying for, uh, like, renting their apartment month month by month while they search and so on and so forth. So everything... Going to a great cause. Oh, we just got it. We got $25, which $25 is uh, no swearing by everyone for three minutes. Right when we're about to get into the story. Perfect. All right. Let me get my timer on. Amazing. I don't swear anyway. I'm a good boy. You you are a good boy, Cody. Uh, you never swore in a day in your life. I don't say bad words. You don't. No, you don't. All right. The timer started at three minutes. No swearing from here on out. If we swear, we have to add on a minute. Um, th- thanks for that. It's my favorite one. It's my favorite. The best. Uh, uh, I'd rather uwu for the rest of the stream than not swear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now... Uh, let me get my... We're starting the story music. Yeah, I feel like we're running down the three minutes without really playing. Yeah, no, we need mm-hmm. to We need to do that. We need to really play. Uh, Ahem. Fuck. Yeah, we need to do the three ah! minutes while we're actively playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just added a minute, uh, so... Hey, there you go. Yeah. Here. Well, I'm just gonna start after after I fix my music. Uh... All right, here we go. Now we're starting that. All right. We open on a wonderful morning in our little lake suburb in the south where we see our Draculas sleeping in their coffins and or however they may prefer to sleep. Perhaps they have other means. They are awoken by a smell. A smelly smell that smells smelly. Does anybody investigate it? Definitely. Well, can we at least know if it's like a good or a bad smell? Is it like beyond just burning? Smell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it offensive? It it is it is not burning. It uh, you could say it's offensive. Yes, it does not smell good to you. Uh, we also got a donation for twenty dollars, which is a woe for five minutes. So now we are a woeing, and 
we, um, that's a woe for all for, for five minutes. Um, and we cannot swear, but I, I figure we'll wait till the swearing's done and then we'll woe. So just cause I, I don't want to stress us too much. Uh, so it is a bad smell. Um, but, uh, you'll need to get closer to figure out what it is. I suppose I'll come down from the tower and see what's going on. You descend the tower. Is anybody else going to investigate the smell that smells smelly? Of course. Lord Augustus Darko will get out of his four, uh, poster bed with the curtains drawn. All right. So so we have our two aristocrats heading down. Are the Nosferatu mm. staying in their, in their sleeping spaces? I, I like to think that Tiffany sleeps outside in a fortified treehouse. So Ooh, I like would I would I still smell it in Love the out it. of doors? You smell it more in the out of doors. Oh, then I'm getting my I'm toucan Sammy this. <laughs> You're following <laughs> your nose it. wherever it goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To the yes. Isles of Fruit. I, I I don't know how that continues. Um, <laughs> all right. So and yes. Morty D would be getting up to um, slowly, but he would eventually make it there. All right. So I feel that uh, Tiffany is going to be the first on the scene. Um, Tiffany, what are your skills? <laughs> I mean, like from your sheet, like what, what, are, what are your skills? My skills from my sheet, just as a Nosferatu? Yeah, as a Nosferatu. Because, I mean, I as a Nosferatu, the, a Nosferatu. As a Nosferatu, the things that I'm good at are, uh, that is aristocrat and some manipulating. I'm like, that's not me. I, I see dream weaving, horror, shadow casting, and siring spawn. Yes. All right. So, um,. You, okay, we can swear again that we, we, thank we, fuck. All right, but now we have to do a woo. Five minutes on the clock. Oh, well, so you all are very good at siring spawn and you're very familiar with uh, animals as you and I discussed before. You sire a lot of animals. Um, this smell smells unfortunately like feces of a dog variety. But it is not just a dog. There's something more going on. <laughs> is it a hellhound uwu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe. You'll have to do some more investigating to find out. Or perhaps one of the other vampires may know. Maybe someone who's older. You don't have a whole so lot of experience outside of the house. So as you're looking at this quite large uh, mess that's been made on the lawn, oh, whoa, the two Oistoquats come down and uh, they see this site as well. Sorry, oh, something what? happened here? Um, oh, well, uh, you know, oh, oh, well, the neighbors have had a, a little problem with us, oh, well, and, um, you know, they, they keep letting their dogs over here, but that's actually really big, so I guess it's not a dog. How are they, they even get getting past the gate or... <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, as you're discussing this, Morty D, you make your way to the scene and you see uh, the west of your compatriots looking at uh, just an oopsie poopsie that is on the lawn. A big oopsie one. Oopsie poopsie is correct. Where did this whoopsie poopsie come from? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Does anyone have, perhaps, let's see, shape shifting or a oh, whoa? Yes, yeah, shape shifting. Does anyone have shape shifting as well, a that would be me. Oh, you too? Okay. So, hello. Because you're shape shifters, I'm going to give you uh, a uh, bonus uh, die or whoa to figure out oh, what animal or 
being this might be from because you have experienced shape shifting into different things. Mm -hmm. So I would like you to roll a uh, 3d6. No. And then tell me the result. You can roll in roll 20 or you can roll uh, mm. in, on your own dice, whatever you like. I will roll my own dice. I think you should Same. roll with your heart, Ubu. Oh, well, we should Ooh. always roll with our heart. Believe in the heart of the dice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, big B O B, it kills four, me too. A six. And, um, a five. Oh, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. There. A six, I, a three, and... Dices I made. Oh, you made the dice? I made dices. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. The lesson keeps getting bubbles in it, though, and it makes me very angry. Can you please show one to the camera? Of course. I, I want to see it. Actually, I'll show you three. Hold on. Da, 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 da. So, uh, um, this is, this is the first one I made. It is not very good. It has lots of bubbles. And then, I made this blue one. And it's better. It's not really focusing, but, oh well. Um, it's all sparkly. And then, I finally got the bubblegum pink I was trying to get, oh well. Oh wow, it's so pretty! Thank you. Okay. So. Co uh, Cody, what was your woe again? Well, I got a, I got a three, okay. a six, and a little five. Okay, okay. So you got some good successes among you, so I'm going to say that together you put your heads down and unfortunately get a big whiff. And you realize this is from a werewolf. A werewolf shit on your wand. How interesting. Oh, it would be blood. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's done. <laughs> thank, uh, okay. thank goodness. Well, anyway, do so... we... Perhaps... Uh, do we know any of werewolves in the area, perhaps? No. They don't tend to associate with our kind. Somebody's... No, typically not. No. No, but I, I have parted with some, but that was a few, you know, years ago. Yes. Centuries ago. Centuries, years. It all blends together, doesn't it? It does. Yes, it does. Do we even have werewolves in this area? But, uh, uh, sure there are, you know. it's They, they do their own thing, but... Uh, I suppose uh, perhaps we could... Run a science experiment on this shit. You know, I've been trying to get those cameras set up for outside, and if we could just get the wireless to work, we would have a recording, and this wouldn't be a big deal. I'm just saying, I think we should just spring for repair guy. Actually, but... I was going to have Fiverr run out here. I'm so tired of the internet. Um... Yes, I did. That would that be would great. Be cool that today. would be great. Yeah, because then Sounds I can expensive. hook up my DJ gear. And you know, connect to the internet. Yeah, and like now you got to go to that all night library, and that's just I... <laughs> that's a just hassle. what a, it... a library, a hassle. I will not hear of it. Well, the drive is very long because first you have to get off the island, and then you have to mm. get off the island highway, and then you have to go into Black Sea, and it takes forever. That's just a lot of work. That's just a lot, a lot of work. work. Exactly. He's just and... trying to get noticed. Here's the thing, I'm I'm not really from around here, I really am vacationing, um, so I don't know if you have werewolves here, but this is definitely werewolf um, scat, as it were. Uh, uh, voice in the sky, uh, the, the great Dracula in the sky, mm -hmm. um, would there be something we could do to know if perhaps we know of any werewolves in the area? Um, I'd say that uh, you've lived here a long time. You'd probably be familiar enough with the donation that just came in. Oh, uh, is fifty dollars, which is <laughs> that's a, a lot of dollars. A big bane or a big boon for all players. So, uh, Mitch, Ooh. please let us know. Thank you. Mitch if goes. if Thank that you. is a boon Love or that. a bane, uh, do you want something good for the players or something bad for the players? Please let me know. 
I'm reserving my thank you until I hear if it's a boon or a bane. Uh, I know this guy. He's probably going to troll us. <laughs> Just saying. All, all I Bots. know is that either will be entertaining. Boon for the poor wooers. So, you would know if there were werewolves in this area because you've been here a while. However, all of your records were eaten by little shit. That little, that little shit. shit. That motherfucker. You used to Whoa. have a detail, detailed account of all the werewolves that had passed through the area, all the werewolves who you had come in contact with. Basically, you were keeping track just for, you know, knowledge sake, considering there is a bit of a rivalry between the two groups. But little shit ate it. And now you do not have access to that. You're going to have to do some investigation. You know, Wait. Dave might know. He's been here longer than any of us. That is true. To the can fridge. he leave? No. He leave? No, no. No. Yeah, but who can talk yeah. to Dave anyway? Did we lose our Ouija board? Uh, no, we use the fridge with the with the letters. Oh, that's magnets. right. Yes. 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 I just don't really go there. We've, too we've much. also got those little poetry magnets. I think. Um, oh was yes. That, was that you, Gus? Yes. 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 With it the, was. With the poetry magnets. That just... I. Yes. I. I... I, I do like to quote uh, the great song. Sometimes. I mean, inspiration could strike anywhere. Of course, of course. Right. As to it often fridge. does with me. <laughs> mm. To the fridge, I think. Oh my yes. gosh. All right, so you <laughs> head inside. Uh, is anyone staying outside and not going to the fridge to talk to Dave about werewolves? Um, um, I, go ahead, Morty. Uh, Morty's going to stay outside and clean up the scat because, you know, he's tired of... Um, the shit getting on his on his yard. <laughs> no, 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 don't we have don't we have groundskeepers for that? You shouldn't be doing that. That's beneath you. Um, I I, I, I would I'll, have I'll to agree on that account. Yes, uh, it, it's, you, it's okay. I, I I got this. The, and the, he put the residents yeah, of the household his... should never clean up the <laughs> the, the whoopsie poops. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> So, Morty, you've decided to clean up the uh, scat, as it were, and as you do so, um, you're able to bag it up. Uh, you've you've had some werewolves on your yacht before. Uh, I mean, on your party rave boat, and they, there's been nice. some messes that happened. You're kind of used to it, um, but you notice that uh, nearby as you're cleaning that there's something on the ground. Do you go uh, investigate? Yes. You find a, a dog collar that says uh, Lucifer on it. I thought it was going to say Daddy's Little Princess, but you know, <laughs> no, it's something. It's <laughs> Rune, where you start. And it's definitely small for a dog and not the size for a werewolf. It's the size of a large dog. Mm. Like a like a wolfhound or a, a Saint Bernard or uh Ruh -roh. those those dogs that fight bears in Russia. Interesting. <laughs> I will just collect this collar. All right. And for those who went to go speak with Dave. Yes. Uh you reached the fridge. And uh, the little fridge magnets uh, move around to say, Hello, so many. Dave isn't used to having so many guests at one time in the kitchen. And to just get to the point. That'd be nice. He's had a hard time with things. Dave, darling, do you know any werewolves in the area concurrent with us? Uh, and then it's spe the fridge spells out, Where? Question mark wolves? Oh, where's the punny sort? <laughs> Dave. Here, Dave, in, in the island. There's a pause, and then the fridge magnets move to say no. But. And then uh, the poetry magnets start moving, and you get a bit of a longer sentence. Excellent. Wolves howl. Around the lake, when the stars fall. Oh, during during the meteor showers. 
I'm just the Pleiades right now, so. Yes! And there's an exclamation point. Thank you, Dave. Anything I can get you? More letters? Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, I'm gonna immediately pull out my phone and order, like, so many letters. And another, like, three poetry sets for him. Uh, the Y and the W move down together for a You're Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, those will all be here, um, uh, two days shipping, so day after tomorrow. You'll have all the words you want. But we don't have any signal! <laughs> How are you doing this? About what? The, the cell phone! Yes! It takes me a while, but I do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dave waits patiently. Dave is worth it. <laughs> Dave is worth it. Poor fellow can't even leave the house. Least I can do is get him some letters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so werewolves howling around the lake. Where did Morty's outside? Um, yes. Lucy Lawless, mm -hmm. are you with us? Uh, my name is Tiffany, not Lucy Lawless. Lucy Lawless. <laughs> <laughs> but you are as pretty. Thank you. Uh, I think Tiffany would be a little delayed when she ascertained there was an immediate threat. She would go get her um, main minion, her number one man, uh, which is a little albino raccoon named Goggles. And so collecting Goggles would take a second. I think she would come back out of her tree. I will post a picture of Goggles oh in my the God, chat I need goggles. because I believe I can do that. I think I. You have should power. have. You should have the power. Yes. Oh yes, I'm a vip. Um. Oh my God. That's Goggles. Or I look at Goggles. Admire Goggles. Thirty-five dollars so from Emerson. Whoa. Oh no. Thank you for the donation. Emerson. Thank you for so the scared. donation. I'm gonna crunch the banana. Okay. Uh, yeah, the banana. Emerson, do you have a preference for what part I crunch? I'll give you oh, a you're minute. You're waiting on that. I'm grabbing grabbing goggles, and I think I would come out as Morty D is inspecting Mostly the goggles. very end. All right. Yes, uh, wait. The the very oh, end. Oh, Rin. Or the very end. The the stem. The stem. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Why? Oh, don't, don't don't eat the stem. Oh, I'll eat the stem. I'm just gonna hide under my wig All now. All right. Let's go. Mm. No. Mmm. 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 Tasty. No, wow. no, I'm not here for that. See what you see. See what we do for a good cause. See what you have made us do. Mm -hmm. Look, look at her. She's she loves it. She likes bananas like mm -hmm. that. My favorite way. Like, I I sure hope you're all happy. What next? Eating corn <laughs> the long way? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 <laughs> no. No, what no, a great no, no, idea, no, no. though. <laughs> oh, I know it is. We got corn so... fest coming up. Oh, I can't eat my dice. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the stem itself meat. is too fibrous to finish. So well, I'm gonna are, uh, get rid of that. Scary. But you don't have to look when I do that. Understood. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> corn. She does it in secret. Corn. She hides her shame. It, it's too fibrous to get all the way down. Yeah. She's like eating ortolan. You have to hide under your cloak to do it. <laughs> Yes. Uh, but yeah, that was quite tasty. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am the Dracula master. No. I eat the bananas whole. Uh, <laughs> it's a power move for sure. It I really am intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, a Tiffany will come out cradling goggles and giving him oh my nice strokes. And we'll see Morty inspecting the collar. Hey, is that one of mine? That's the cutest uh, raccoon I've ever seen. No, um, this is, this is for little Lucifer. It's, it's Lucifer. interesting, it's a collar. I had no, no Lucifer. We haven't had any dogs around here, have we? Mm, oh, I think I would know. Oh, goodness, no. No, 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 no. It's a cat. Well, then I'm thinking that whoever, um, you know, splatter their scatter here is the one that's well, he probably changed and this is his collar. But what? why would a werewolf a, wear, wear a collar? Yeah, why? I mean it, Maybe a king. Maybe that's what they're into. <laughs> oh, maybe, yes. Like, maybe shit on the lawn, be a good boy. I don't know. Hey, who maybe knows it's what a werewolf with a furry. These days. It's... But, that's, what that's are you doing here? A, 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 a furry, furry werewolf. You ever heard yeah, of one of them? Yes. Well, I mean, 
Well, uh, werewolves typically are furry, yes. No, 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 no. no, no. A furry. No, like a person who like wants to be like an animal person. Yep. And then oh, they basically like a, would become like a shapeshifter, one, but then like the werewolves me. like not a full time thing. Not a shapeshifter. <laughs> no, they wear costumes. They like dress Halloween. up as yes, but yes, they dress up as animals. I mean, it's mostly like ninety nine percent harmless. They're actually really nice people. Shalini told me they pay very well for the commissions, but um, they are a little odd around the edges. Yeah, they're good for making money. They are. Mm -hmm. They really are. I do like. Th well, I mean, I would love to meet one of these furries. Then. <laughs> yeah, from what from what I understand about furries is they're just are disproportionately wealthy. It's been and they tend to run the internet. Well, I art. I am one. Yes, that's as, true. as one who is disproportionately yeah. wealthy himself. Uh, Maybe you're furry. I, uh, I, well, no, I I typically don't. Uh, no, I, is this your collar? Uh, no, I. I'm, I, I turned into a be? bat. I mean, I mean, bats are mammals, but it's not my. I'm not trying to look like Lucy. Okay. All right. I mean, that could have been a nickname. I mean, <laughs> we don't know I, the whole story. Never. I, I think you would have probably picked a better name than Lucifer. It's a Lucifer. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it Lucifer or is Lucifer? Oh. Is it an E or a U? Mm. Boo. A play on words. It Boo. is Lucifer. No. Oh, the cool. UR. With the UR. <laughs> mm, I think it's on the case. I'm it. well, I mean, that's got to narrow it down, of course. A punny well. Of course. The worst, the worst kind. This is brilliant. <laughs> so, so, furries aside. What if it's another DJ, Morty? What if that's their DJ name? DJ Lucifer. The... All would DJs know each other, right? That so, would be a brilliant and... werewolf DJ name. Hmm, that would be. Have you heard of a Lucifer? I have not. Except for the whatever they've said in the past. But oh, yeah. well, that's. Yeah, yeah. We're just but going anyway. to have to go look around. Oh, Who wants to wow. take a ride in the steamboat? <gasps> Me. I love the I'll be steamboat. flying, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes. As will I. All right, so two for the steamboat, two uh, taking flight. And now, are you going. Is there anywhere in particular you're going to look? I, I do want to emphasize that I'm a white raven rather than a bat, because of course I am. Of course oh. you are. Of course you are. Fuck. Uh, Sorry, what was would... Now, are uh, the two groups, down? are you going to the same place or are you going to split up? Ooh. No, we should go to the same place. More yeah. on, the, on the subject, I think. I mean, ca -ca! <laughs> <laughs> Squeak, squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Remember that? Classic. Oh, yeah. You're gonna sample that and put it into one of your songs? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. The cause and the squeak squeak. I expect royalties. Who's a pretty bird? <laughs> All right, uh, where are you going to look first for Lucifer, perhaps the werewolf DJ? <laughs> Well, what time in the day is it? Yeah, that's actually a good question. So it was yes. morning, so you will have to be, you know, covered up a bit if you're going out. Yeah. Can mm. you? Uh, the raven is going to turn to the bat and be like, "Bat." Yes. No, bat, bird. <laughs> Snap! Look, it's it's going to be a little weird if there's a bat running around in the daytime. Just saying. They're gonna think you have rabies or something. I know it's con inconvenient, and you do make a charming bat, but bird, uh, squirrel, dog. Uh, all right, he'll perhaps he'll uh, forego the bat just this once. Hey, if you turn into can, a dog, we got a collar for you. Wait, can, <laughs> can I, I um, yeah, like say that I um, did a practical joke on him? Perhaps. <laughs> What's the joke? Um, that he turns into a pelican. <laughs> well, how? Uh, uh, how how are you it, trying to do that? Are you making trying you to make him, him think he has turned into a pelican? Uh, <laughs> if that's all I can do, then yes. Um, but I would like him anytime he tries to be a majestic type bird. Um, I wanted to turn to a pelican. Okay, I would say that uh, this is either dream weaving or shadow casting. Um, you are essentially attempting to skew reality. Um, yep. 
it he will not actually be turning into a pelican, but he's gonna think he's a pelican Thank every you. time he changes. I, I think, but I think we, this is something. Could we team up together on this? Because as an animal person, this is like yes, right you two up my can alley. team up together. So uh, I'm going to say that this is going to be a two d six um or uh Morty, you can roll three d six because um Tiffany's helping you, and okay. uh. <laughs> To resist this gust, um, you get to roll 2d6 unless somebody's helping you. Um, because you have well, one, I just mean, your normal resistance, one from being at the house still. So. Now, I'm going to um, use my shadow, um, okay. and I have a plus three on that. Does okay. That uh, yeah, I think you might get an extra die with that, Four. or it adds additional. Let me double check. Okay. Wow. So you're, you're uh, shadow casting, which is your special trait. You've got mm-hmm. me helping you, and you're at the house. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna fuck him up. He's <laughs> yeah, so those stats, um, those stats say how many dice you roll. So you actually roll three dice, uh, plus one for being home, plus one from Tiffany helping you. So you're rolling five dice. Oh. And well, that's fucking stupid. Cody, you're rolling two, unless somebody what? wants to help you. Um, oh. no, I, I will I will assist. No, nope, that's quite right. But I am trolling him a little bit, you see, because I am a bit of a mischievous sort, and, well, I do want to help, but it is really funny to watch somebody think they're a pelican. So, will you see if he fails busy. and then perhaps help? Okay, yeah. so, Cody, roll your dice. I'm rolling two? You're rolling two, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No one's helping you. Yeah. fives. Sorry. Two fives? Alright, well, let's see. Uh, what is that? Uh, one and a four. Um, All right, so oh no. he would fail. Um, oh. So, Cody, what bird are you trying to turn into? Well, I was trying to turn into some sort of uh, falcon. Okay. Um, majestic, very majestic. Beautiful, or like maybe a, of course, like a you know, some, yeah, yeah. Pe- so, exact peregrine is so pretty much where I was you going. transform into a beautiful peregrine falcon. However, when you look oh. down at yourself. What what oh. what does he see, Morty? You see a big, chunky, bloated-looking pelican. <laughs> not even a not like a really rancid. Like it's it's been through some things. <laughs> oh gosh! No, no, you're gonna what? Have to... Just like squawking, just ma. <laughs> uh, let me try again. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, so back into roll my your two form. It. Like, mm-hmm. this is uh, this has never happened sucks. before. Never happened before. Not I, I, you know, I hear that all the time. Yeah, I for real, never happened before. Always mm-hmm. turn into what I desire. Oh, this is beneath a pelican. Not even I could have picked anything else, an albatross, but a pelican. Oh, I could see a seagull. Okay, so um, this time, are you helping? I am. Okay, I so am. roll three dice, Cody, and uh, oh. James, uh, Morty gets to roll four dice. I'm taking away one because yeah. Cody knows something is going on now. <laughs> That's fair. Majestic thoughts. I'm using thoughts. my figgle dice, James. Majestic thoughts, you know. You're using your figgle dice? Yeah, so I'm we know sorry. it's going to be bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eh, one fuck? second. All right, Six. so we have... I got a four. Okay. <laughs> if it's on the floor, and, it and Figgle rolled a two. So, uh, so uh, what'd you get, Cody? You had a six. Uh, a f- six. Yeah, four and a two. Okay, so we actually have you. You two matched each other essentially. So what that means is, Cody. Rollies. Gus goes to transform into. Uh, is he trying a falcon again? No. Yes. Transform into a falcon, and very briefly he looks down and sees a pelican, and then oh. the image seems to shatter, and then there is the falcon body. He was always oh. a falcon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, well, I'm just uh, screeching, uh, very majestically flying around, you know, sailing the the the, the you know the, the wind. Uh, doing all that cool shit falcons do uh and i give a very uh very like stern falcon look to the two 
uh, Nosferatu pranksters. <laughs> yeah, when you, Over when on you the do that, you hear, boat. Will you hear... Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so where 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 is our our group headed? Uh, where do you want to look for the possibly uh, werewolf DJ? Mm-hmm. Lord Augustus has no idea. Uh, if it, if it's a DJ, it would have to be a club that Morty doesn't typically play at, because Morty would know otherwise. So um, I, I think that would be up to Morty then. Some of the some of the nightclubs that aren't his usual scene. Yeah, so Morty, are there any nightclubs that you don't usually go to for any particular reason? Um, not for any particular reason. I just like to be closer to home, but um, we can start looking at some of the local bars and look for flyers. See if we can find something. Mm. Well, let's see here. Revival Maxi. All right. So you uh, start looking around at local bars. Uh, you you bring the steamboat into port uh, and and get out. Uh, the other two meet you, and uh, you there's some small bars, uh, some that don't seem to have live music. Uh, there's a couple that have live music, but they mainly have country, uh, which you don't think Oof. you would find a werewolf DJ at. Um, you might, but you know you, you'd have to go in and see. Um, but you do see flyers for, um, a nightclub called Blue Moon. <laughs> well, it's a bit on the nose, isn't it? I know, right? Hmm. A bit on the snout, you might say. <laughs> I would not, actually. <laughs> I would. You but... say to the great Dracula in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Only if convinced. Oh, this is... Interesting, but pretty lame since they named it after a beer. <laughs> it's not even a good a beer. A delicious beer. Uh, Maybe they have a sponsorship. Uh, I mean, like, get your money, you know? Oh, if they did, I'm missing. I need to find something to be equally as competitive. Well, I mean. Okay. Do, I, do you, do you go are you looking look- for a sponsorship, perhaps? Oh, sorry, sorry. I kind of went off on a tangent, but um, yes, let's um, follow this lead right here. Will they be open? What are their hours? Do we get signal out here? You do have signal now that you're off the island, so would you like to mm-hmm. look up the hours of Blue Moon? I guess so. <laughs> I don't want to walk all the way over there and then they're closed till 5pm and we just have to so stand around on the front porch all day or whatever these bars have. You look up the hours for Blue Moon and uh, the first thing you see is that yes, they are sponsored by the beer Blue Moon. So weird. Of course they are. Weird. <laughs> um, oh my. They uh, have lots of drinks with oranges in it. Um, they also uh, open at uh, let's say 6 p.m. Uh, on weekdays and it's currently a weekday. Um and they stay open uh, until 3 a.m. on a weekday. So you would have some time to kill if you were going straight to Blue Moon, unless you wanted to break in. Mm, you could wait. Uh, I want to see just are there if we if we're gonna go near the area anyway. Uh, I was wanting to see if there are signs of werewolves around here. That's certainly. I mean, we're here. Why not? Yeah. Mm. So you know that uh, you you don't have too much knowledge about werewolves, but you have some. You do know that um, the werewolves are in the area uh, because of the um. Uh, meteor shower. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word meteor shower. Um, they're in the area because of the meteor shower. And you generally know that werewolves enjoy eating a lot of meat. They tend to be loud. Uh, a little bit more boisterous. They can cause a scene sometimes. Um, and if you're... And that's them kind of just in human form. You know, they just tend to be more loud, boisterous people. That's not always the case, but you know just tends to be. Um, 
but also if you're looking for signs of like werewolf werewolves uh, as when as and when they're wolves you would be looking for something like excessive fur uh the smell of marking such as what you found on your lawn um or uh tree bark being destroyed uh mm. such as what you would see with a bear Okay, fascinating. Here's a thought. Here's a thought, friends. Fam. Mm -hmm. Fam, fam. Uh, what are we gonna do when we find this gentle fur? Perhaps ask it not to defecate on our premises. I mean, maybe it was an emergency, but still. Uh, I mean... Knock, knock on the door and ask. You could just That's not, very true. you know. You could That's just very do. true. Oh, there's also a lake right there, like... Yes, I, 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 I would a few feet. suggest exactly. that one goes in the lake first before the porch. And, and the I feel like they were trying to leave a message. They could have just the left the I mean, he would have, if, even if they would have bit him, he would have been fine. Yes. yes what, what, if, what if he bit them? Would they turn into werewolf gators <laughs> werewolf I don't believe so. Hmm. I think it's a, I think it's an illness. That affects humans, yes. well, so I don't yes. think it would work on the croc gators. But um, it's food for thought, perhaps. It's, it's interesting thought experiment. Food. Yes. Oh. All right. I, I just feel like it was probably deliberate, so we might want to be a little yes. firmer than See, showing up in the group and being like, "Hey, please don't do that again." Yes. See you Sunday. I, I would hate to have to fight these werewolves over, you know. Uh, a simple misunderstanding, but if it was intentional, well, if it was intentional, are we gonna shit on their like records or whatever? Like, how do you get back at one of these people? I don't know. Mm. Give them a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them like it. I I know that from a friend. <laughs> <laughs> friend. We could uh, yes. uh, set some fleas loose in their club. What if they oh. hop upon us and they we infest ain't got our fur. home? Fleas don't, fleas don't want... Yeah, but the eggs can get We on don't them. have fur. We don't have blood. They don't want us. It's they true. Want we do the... not have blood. I'm that sorry. Are name. people around us? I have blood. I do. Please <laughs> mm -hmm. ain't interested in us. Gus loudly shouting, I have blood. I do. <laughs> Has now drawn attention, <laughs> and a nearby oh. uh, blood donation worker comes by. <laughs> oh, great! No, uh, it's Whoa, this is double an issue. Sir. The Red Cross, like <laughs> double problem here. We need them not to be heroes. Yeah. Oh, I can't give blood, sir. He's like trying to like. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're all we're all gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am. I am. Whoa, oh, hey now, is... I was just trying to see if you wanted to give blood, but uh, I, I guess not. We're uh, very gay. That's and right. Very, very, very gay. Around I, I will kiss a man right now to prove my I, homosexuality. I am sorry, but I cannot give um, any blood because I've had mad cow disease. Yes. Move. Yes. Mm. Eight at Jack in the Box. Uh, oh, excuse me. Eight at Jack in the Box once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we've got... Uh, some some folks who are saying they are gay and also have mad cow disease. I will put you down as a no for donating <laughs> blood to, for the blood. Our lifestyles are incompatible with what you're looking for. That's right. We uh, are, uh, sir or ma'am or whatever you are. Uh, That's all right. right. Uh, you respect you, that. Uh, just next time, don't loudly shout, "I've got blood." Yes, I do. If it's not of your business. Just because someone shout. has blood doesn't mean you can just take it. You're not I wasn't yes, coming to take it. I was, okay. I was coming to see if you wanted you, to give it. You, you, everybody go that way. Um, what's your name, person who's trying to take blood? I'm trying to take our blood. My, my name is Tim. Tim, that's been a misunderstanding. I'm terribly sorry, but um, we're not we're not eligible. You see, so sorry about the confusion. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, if uh, you see anybody who does not have an incompatible lifestyle, uh, you can give them some of these. We're having a, a blood drive for the local hospital. Uh, they have a shortage mm. of blood. Of course. Oh, that's, that is that is a terrible. terrible problem to have. It is. Um, yes, that's why I, we're doing the I blood will... drive, but you can't help, so, you know. Anyway, I will. Yes, anyway. 
put up some flyers. We're, we're actually looking for a friend this afternoon, so as I'm going, I'll just maybe give out some flyers for you. Um, do you take donations? Would that make things a little better? That would be great if, if you do want to uh, put some money in the little uh, tip jar I got here. Do you have Venmo? <laughs> Uh, I do have Venmo, but, uh, uh, my organization does not have Venmo. If you want to give me mm. a personal tip, you can give me a Venmo. No, it'd be for the mm. organization you represent, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, well then, shh, shh, shh. I got this. Do I have cash on me? Of course I have cash on me. Come on. Hey, do you, do, do you put antiquated gold coins in his... Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, I'm not that <laughs> unhip with the kids. I have some American greenbacks. <laughs> Mm. Unrefined currency, but it'll do for the colonies anyway. Um, yeah, so as I always say, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hand him, you know, a hundred bucks, put a hundred bucks in the jar, <laughs> gently wave him off. He never saw us, we were never here. <laughs> he looks down, well, and... Lord Augustus is gonna put 200. <laughs> it's a bidding oh, war. <laughs> my God. I'm not, it's not a competition. I was just trying to get him to go away. <laughs> he, he walks away $300 richer for his blood bank. <laughs> well, well, do you do that? Then, um, then Morty is going to actually toss in a wooden nickel. <laughs> nice. There you go, whippers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Hey, hey, aren't you the one that runs the rave boat? I am. I've been yep. on that Morty boat. D. It's a good time. Well, I appreciate that. Do you do you know of any other um, DJs that are trying to, you know, steal my thunder? Uh, you know, there is there has been this uh, new DJ who came down recently, brought a bunch of his friends. Uh, I think they're having some kind of event uh, late late tonight. I think uh, over over at Blue Moon. Ah, excellent. Hmm. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, what was that DJ's name? Oh, uh, something like Lucy... Lu yeah, yeah, okay, 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 thank you. Lucifer? Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, good that, time, Tim. That, that sounds right. What looking for. Uh, all right, I'm yes. gonna, I gotta go get people who actually have blood uh, to give Yeah, me. you gotta go do that, you go do Which that. Which I do, but I cannot it's do a, it a, a, my a, lifestyle. You go, you go Lord do that Augustus. Thing. We're good here. <laughs> We're fine. Oh. Uh, By the way, mm -hmm. how was my accent? Did I sound like one of them? <laughs> I wouldn't oh. know. A little bit of work, but I, you... I think I think they clearly knew you're not from around here, and that's okay. I wouldn't well, have I, I'm used to Clearly, that look and look at me, and you know, look at them, and they can see that they exactly, can... exactly. Exactly. It's a difference. Yes. Just different people. If I were a mortal, I'd still need a drink, but as it stands, uh... well, we know where our uh, furry friend is we know well we know where they're going to be going to we know where they're true. going yes. to be tonight yes. in front of a presumably a crowd we could get there early before the event starts they'll probably show up or we could try to find them now uh good time tim really? did say that time, they showed up with their friends so we could assume that lucy they are in a pack of some sort. Mm. Yes, they they do tend to travel in packs. Oh, Marty got distracted again. No. <laughs> off he goes. Yeah, off he goes. He's the, how he just found it. Anytime a fan wants an autograph, oh. he just takes off. He needs to focus. Mm -hmm. uh, but perhaps he found a uh, one of them vinyl record stores. <laughs> Nobody listens to vinyl anymore. Uh, well, it's actually coming back. I think it's coming back. I don't know. I don't yeah. know of these things. Uh, oh, All right. Is. is there any specific way you would like to spend your time up until uh, the club opens at 6 p.m.? You have, I'd say, like five hours to kill by this point after Should hanging out with good time, house? Tim. Five hours? How long does I... it take to get here from the island? Uh, it takes like an hour. Unless yeah. you're flying. And then it's, you know, do hour. we do we want to do we want to go to that uh, library and maybe look up see if they're on the MySpace, see if Lucifer's on the MySpace, MySpace. or whatever, SoundCloud, whatever <laughs> these people are doing. You know, I'm days. more of a vampire freaks myself. <laughs> um, 
I think I'm too old for this conversation. Yes, the library for research, I think. So, where, research. where has Gus gone to? What? Not Gus. Well, sorry. I'm right here. The... No, not you, Gus. Sorry. Oh, Morty just appeared suddenly Mor out of nowhere. Wandered off. Did you? Did, did you... you give that Baron their autograph that they wanted? Would, were you? Yes, yes. Um, they they wanted that autograph, and I hooked them up. You need to be and less they... accommodating. No. Well, I mean. It's good for publicity. Yeah, you know, I have fans now, but I want to keep it only on the boat. But you know, just like an OnlyFans, only boat fans. E exactly. Only boat fans. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hope you can make good money doing that, but it is very hard work. Only boat it fans. is, but I have a lot of time on my hands. Well, I think we decided while you were gone that we were going to hit up the library and do a little research and try to find Lucy Fur's band packs. Page. Excellent. See what we can find out about this person. I'm actually curious if there's any books that we don't have in the library. Back well, on. oh, yes. All right, ah. so you're headed to the library. Uh, do any of you have a library card? Well, of course I do. Thank you so much for the follow. I don't think I do. I do, yes. Uh, uh, under my, uh, you know, American uh, name, Gus Darkling. All right. So uh, you are able to use all the library's facilities then since you have your library card. Uh, what are you looking for? What are you trying to do? I find myself simply perusing the shelves and looking for something spicy, perhaps. Spicy. Oh. Oh, thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, yes. and, and what does Lord Augustus find spicy? Um, Lord Augustus is into, uh, you know, he, he's real big into, uh, like, bodice rippers. <laughs> All right. So, Lord Augustus, as you're perusing the romance section, mm -hmm. you find quite a few spicy bodice rippers. Oh, boy. Um, some that aren't in your collection, actually, because you've been collecting them. Uh, I have been collecting them, you, yes. You don't keep them in the library, but you have been collecting no, them. No, those are in my <laughs> room. Uh, you, you get a good handful. Uh, one is called uh, The Dark Mistress. Uh, another is called uh, The... The woman and the sea. Uh, one's called Ooh, she Buff and Ready to Party. Sea. Buff and Ready to Party. That sounds tantalizing. Oh, God, if you if you check out Twilight again, I am throwing you into a furnace. Something about uh, the look, word Buff, like Buffy, it just kind of gives me the makes look, me really I, icky I, for some reason. I'm I sorry. My finger I, on it. Look, just because I'm I'm firmly team. Edward, and, uh, oh God. you know, what? what? <laughs> do you remember, like Morty, about... do you remember when he went through that phase where he was covering himself in glitter, just rolling around yes. in it? Oh, oh my gosh, it was a true. Would... <laughs> wouldn't that just be a treat if I, if I glistened in the sun, like, the, that beautiful... They, they make micro glitter, if you would like yes. to actually glisten. If I, you want well, for Halloween, like I offered before, I mean it. I will do those little sparkly diamond glue things on you. It just will take some time. I thought perhaps this uh, this year I'd go as Charlie, the father. <laughs> oh. oh God. <laughs> um, can I call Shalini? Yes, you can. Yes, I would love to call Shalini and ask her if she could find a, a DJ named Lucifer. So she, uh, you know, I don't, even, I don't want to call her actually because she hates phones. I was about to her. say, yeah, you text her. Um, text her. So she texts back almost immediately, mostly in emojis, um, and the emojis seem to say, "I'm looking." Uh, you know, it's like a magnifying glass, of course, um, and you know, computer. And then a few moments later, um, you do get some information about uh, an up and coming DJ called Lucifer who wears a uh, wolf costume while on stage <laughs> and has a collar that says Lucifer on it. He's a fucking furry, I knew it. Well, hell, this is 
Yeah, I'm gonna Are bring interested? the phone back over and show show the gang. Sounds to me like we got part of their costume. Mm. Why would he shoot on Arlon though? Like, would... Come on. But that I mean, it for one, it's really far out of the way. Right, right. Like you'd have to come out to Cat Island. That's why I think boat. it was to prove. It makes it much more personal now that I think about it. Yeah. <gasps> we didn't perhaps look. we I should wanna... just kill him. I want to no. think. I want to think back. Murder was the scat like arranged in a particular way, like a symbol or a word? It was, was not. It, just a pile? it was not arranged in any way you noticed, uh, but you did get the, the sense that it was a challenge in some way, given what you know about werewolves and um, dance off, mm -hmm. DJ mm -hmm. off. Did did he just desecrate my discotheque? I think you were dissed. I think you were dissed at the disco. Hmm. Wow. Disrespected the disco. Mm -hmm. Definitely at least well, disrespected. Yes. I think you have to make an appearance. I, 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 I'm beyond, Gus, I think this is beyond just having to pick a fight. Mm. Because I think we could definitely... Are we going him. to kill him? I don't, no. I don't think we can't. I think, I think Morty has to defend his honor. Mm -hmm. I think this I, is a, I think this is this a, is a Morty thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Perhaps it's a, duel? a whole family yes. thing. I haven't but seen we're a We're going to have to bring it like it's never been brought before. Uh, so how can I it's help? It's been so long since I brought it. <laughs> I Are can't bring it? it, but I am very wealthy, so I'm willing to enable bringing it. Yes. Excellent. Yes, yes. That's a good point. Should we hire, should we hire some, um, Local I don't know. Tail? What are they? A posse? Do we hire a posse? We get, how yes. How's yes. We should. I'm exceedingly wealthy. I could. We should. We should recruit some posses, or however this works. I don't know. Well, <laughs> we can't roll in there with just the four of us. All right. So we've got about uh, a half hour left of stream. So I okay. want you to lay down what you want to do to bring the noise. Very foolish of you to not schedule more time for us, Corinne. You know how we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. I'm so this sorry. Is a problem. Yeah. Now, I had no idea that it was going to go like this. So yes, more time would have. I had no time. idea. What to <laughs> you had no idea you, you would enjoy know. it so much. No, I did. I knew I, I would. was expecting I to have a pretty shitty time. Corinne at least uh, knows how Rune and I play. Nothing. Yeah. Everything yeah. takes forever. Uh, pleasantly, okay. pleasantly. I took Marigold and I put him into a vampire. <laughs> I think we want to recruit some minions. We do. People, people we need minions. minions. Do. Okay. I can bring some animal minions as well. I okay. can manipulate people into being very interested mm -hmm. in uh, small uh, I can pay a lot of people. We want to stack the crowd. Not that we don't think Mortimer will do a good job. Oh, Morty no, you're going to be amazing. Just people, more people. But we want here. to, like, destroy them and run these people. Oh, people. absolutely. <laughs> Out yes. of town. All right, so you're going to stack the crowd. Yes. You're going yep. to um, get, like, uh, with, with, like, your posse. Uh, you're going to bring some animals. Are the animals going to be, like, a part of the show? Or are they going to be trying to affect the other DJ? What They're going to be affecting... I. They're going to be causing chaos. They're going to be like chewing on the microphone cord when they're trying to do a diss okay. and ruin it. They're going to be mm. pissing in their DJ setup and just making it short out. That okay. Kind of thing. You need okay. rats. You need lots of rats. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Chewing and then, everything. Is there anything else we're doing to prepare for this uh, DJ my, off? My hype man, my hype shadow, will um, try to get all of our shadows of the people that are going to be hired or minions to dance as well <laughs> ah dancing shadows some light work all right yes. nice all right um okay anything else i think i have the highest manipulation among the groups so i would like to show up a little early and maybe convince some groupies that oh you may like this lucifer person but what you really want to see is the next act and i would like to manipulate the club owner into making some space for our dear mortimer this evening all right, all right. <clears throat> okay, so um, I would like everybody to um, roll, and I'm going to tell you what to roll with. So, uh, Tiffany, you are rolling with um, your siring spawn because you're bringing the animal, you're bringing your animal spawn with you. Um, so, roll whatever your stat is. Uh, you're not at home, but you are helping Morty DJ, so you get to roll four. Um, 
-hmm. Manipulation. What's your manipulation, uh, Lord Oberon? Three. All right. <laughs> yeah. So um, you are doing an act that is helping the group, and you are very much a team player. So I'm going to allow you to roll four as well. Uh, Morty, what's your shadow manipulation skill? Uh, plus three. Plus three. All right. So since this is shadow manip manipulation for the act of DJing, a four is well to roll. And then finally, Lord Augustus, um, you are helping us with uh, the hiring of uh, goons, essentially. That's right. Um, so you're just flashing your money around. Uh, what's your wealth? Is it a three? It sure is. And since you are spending money very frivolously, I will give you another plus one as well. So yes. you get to roll four. So everybody is rolling four dice. You're trying to Love get fives that. and sixes. Let me know the, your amount of fives and sixes and we'll see how well you do. Five and sixes? Fives and sixes, yep. So a six is a massive success. I got uh, one five. Okay. One I got five. one six. Okay. Okay. No, nothing on your front? Mm -hmm. Me? Ooh. No. No, I, I oh. rolled something mathematically improbable. <laughs> it's really good. A six, a five, a five, and a four. Oh! Congratulations! Yeah. All right. So My new dice love me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what happens is, first, the uh, animals sired by Tiffany, they get there early and start fucking with uh, oh. Lucifer's equipment. Oh, it's this kind of stream. <laughs> what, saying yeah. fucking? <laughs> sure, we, furries, why yeah. not? Yeah, they we're, get we're, there. It's this part of the night. The animals get there and start fucking with Lucifer's stream, and uh, not stream, uh, his uh, <laughs> equipment. And then, um, uh, whoop, whoop. Uh, Augustus is able to hire a fair amount of posse members, not as much as he would like, but he does get some mm -hmm. folks that are going to be in there specifically for Morty. Um, Lord Oberon, mm -hmm. you charm the hell out of that club manager. First, uh, you you somehow convince this club manager who almost exclusively caters to werewolves to give mm -hmm. a vampire a slot uh, mm -hmm. that is actually now the making Lucifer the opener for Morty. Now mm -hmm. Morty is the headliner. Uh -huh. And then finally, once everybody gets to the club, which we haven't done yet, but once you get to the club, uh, the shadows will dance. Uh, it won't be as good oh. of an effect as you were looking. It won't be quite as noticeable, but when the strobes are really going, it's gonna look great. So. 6 p.m. rolls around. No. Oh. Do you head to the club? Yep. Should we get changed, though? Oh, yeah. What are you wearing? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Not this. Hmm. Uh, Lord Augustus will put on his uh, party sweater vest. Um, it's Argyle. All right. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. I uh. mean, he's... If you like some fashion advice. I do no, want to remind you. everybody, I still have a lot of banana left. $35 I keep by eating this peel and all. Um, <laughs> only got a half, like less than a half hour left. I got a lot of banana left. You've got a lot of money left, maybe. Uh, or, you know, donate $5 and make us a woo. Donate $25 or $20 and make all of us a woo. Don't make, make us, us a swear. woo. I don't know how to a woo. I can't <laughs> you make me a woo. Yeah, and I, please. I do a woo very Rude's well. Rude's incredible oh. at it. I'm too old. We're we're about to get into a yeah. DJ showdown. So make it interesting, folks. For a good cause. For our good dear friend helping uh, helping them move to a safer situation. Um, what is Tiffany wearing to the club? Gosh, I thought she would just show up in her, like, she likes to wear long, loose dresses. Uh, they can hide her animals underneath. And then she just pulls her skirts oh, up and leashes them upon the crowd. Um, <laughs> but she could she could be convinced to don something over top of it. Perhaps a uh, rune. Very nice. <laughs> rune just fucking has everything for every occasion. <laughs> 
I think she'll put on a obnoxiously large hat. Love it. Love it. Big hat all the way. Big hat. Big hat. Okay. And what is Morty D wearing for his big debut at Blue Moon? So Morty D is wearing, um, think of like what Neo wore in the Matrix, that yeah. uh, black trench coat, you know, it just goes straight down. Excellent. And um, and he puts on just shades <laughs> with that have like fangs on the shades. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right. So we, we have our, we know what we're doing. We have our attire. Anything else you would like to prepare before you enter the club? <sighs> yeah. All right. So let me change to our club music. Not our happy day music. Yeah. Get that shit out of here. It's not time for no. happy days. <laughs> happy days are not here again, especially for the werewolf. We got a donation. All right. What did we Whoa. get? Oh. I missed what that said. Let me check. Uh oh. Five dollar dono. Was that an uwu request? And if so, who for, Roller? <laughs> Just let us know. All right. So you head to Blue Moon, and you are at first stopped at the door. There is a huge line, and you start heading right for the front of it. Um, and you get there, and there is a big. Uh, Cody, you got a woo. Um, nope. I shall not. You got a oh, woo for five yeah. minutes, bud. Do it. Let me let me start my timer for you. He's pouting. Of course he's gonna pout. <laughs> he's a big old baby man. All right, timer started. Um, <laughs> you uh get to the door and there's a big burly uh uh doorman. Bouncer, that's the word. You got there. I'm sorry, but uh, I can't let you through. You have to get to the back of the line. Apparently, you don't know who we are. Apparently, we I are don't. Your, we're your headliner. My headliner? I thought that was... And then you, he he's, like, looking at a clipboard. And then there's, like, a... You can glance over and you see, like, a big scratched out. And then, like... Are you Morty D? That is correct. In the flesh. I don't, like, have a picture of you, uh, but you've come, arrived with, like, a posse of people, so I guess I'm just gonna trust that this is accurate. You mean you don't recognize Morty D? I honestly can say I don't recognize Morty D. That's Embarrassing for you. Mm -hmm. I yeah. get, I'm feeling a little bit emasculated, yes. Yes. That, that happens from time to time. <laughs> for you, my good man, it will happen probably more. Lots of people feel that way in front of Morty D. That's true. I do. And and what about you, uh, man in the sweater vest? How do you feel when in the presence of Morty D? Why? Morty D is so... such a good DJ a woo. <laughs> I think he's going to really knock them dead tonight. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> God. All right, he steps aside and lets you through. Uh, there's kind of like a, a chittering amongst the the crowd, you know, those gathered. They didn't realize that Morty D was here, even though they didn't really know who Morty D was before tonight. Uh, but, you know, they're feeling the hype. They're feeling the energy. Mm -hmm. You enter the club and you're immediately assaulted by the smell of werewolves. Gross. That's right. Uh, basically everyone in the club right now is werewolves. Everyone in the line outside, not werewolves. Like, some of them were, but not all of them. Um, very wolfy in here. But, you already know what's going on. You know who you're looking for. You're looking for Lucifer. Are you gonna confront him head on, or are you just gonna wait until he does the set and then upstage him? You know what? I'll wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, Lucifer gets up on stage, and, you know, the crowd goes moderately wild, and he steps up <clears throat> in his big fursuit, and he's missing his collar. I'd like to thank everybody for coming to the club tonight. This is, of course, the traditional werewolf boogaloo that we do whenever there is a meteor shower in this area. 
And I'd like to thank you all for joining me here as we party the wolf way. And then, like, the, the turntable starts spinning and we get some music from Lucifer. Uh, it's, you know, pretty good. Uh, and there's some, like, wolf howls mix it, mixed in. Um, and uh, at one point, it seems to be a call out to the crowd to get some wolf howls in as well. And you hear a bunch of wolves. Oh, yeah. You feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable surrounded by your mortal enemy. Well, but, this is not idea. <laughs> but eventually they do stop. Um, and the song continues. And then Lucifer seems to be winding down his set. The night is, uh, it's gone well, it seems, for the werewolf boogaloo. But Lucifer steps up to the mic again. I was hoping that we would have uh, some sort of uh, competition or showdown today, but it looks like my competition never showed up. Mm. And then... You know, the manager comes over, like, of the club and, like, taps loose around the shoulder. Whispers in his ear. Hey, uh, Lucifer, uh, you're not the headliner anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. there's this great guy called Morty D who we just had to get on the, booked for this event. And Lucifer's head drops. You know, the big wolf head. Yeah. Morty! And Morty! Morty D, you take the stage. Five minutes up, Cody. Oh, good. Would you yes. like to describe your show? <laughs> yes. So, as they, he was playing his um, music, uh, I was recording some samples uh, of, you know, some of their howls and everything. So, whenever I get up there and mix it in, I change some of the howls, make them a little rougher. And some of them, I make them sound like scared little puppies. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so I mix that all together along mm -hmm. with um, my traditional vampiric um, you know, skills. So you're going to hear something that's a little bit more um, calming and more um, delicious, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like you will hear like... Um, blood dripping and like punctures you know that are kind of heightened um i don't know if the werewolves would really hear it but any vampire vampires in the crowd know yeah they're gonna know and so that's gonna be undertones so one thing that um did happen because word had gotten out that morty d was playing out off the steamboat morty was off the boat mm -hmm. and in the club some vampires have shown up and now we've got vampires and werewolves in the club oh <laughs> this will go badly things are okay at first up until they start hearing the undertones of your sweet sweet sounds morty d the vampires get a little bit too excited a little bit too into it And there is a riot in this club. <laughs> a vampire weekend, you might say. It's a vampire <laughs> weekend. <laughs> now, do you leave this riot to do as it will? Or do you intercede? I, well, Morty is going to continue playing until the dust settles. All right, Morty, you play through it. Everybody else? John What's Rick going on with here? Lucifer? Yeah, what is he doing? Uh, Lucifer originally was kind of sulking in the corner. Uh, mm. But uh, now he's now that everybody's fighting brutally, he comes over over to um, Morty and, and over to all of you. Because he, he knows you all had a part to play in this. And if he could make the tail of his uh, fursuit go between his legs, it would. He's a bit ashamed of himself. Who has his collar? Uh, yeah, yeah, so I was gonna say, do I have his collar or does Morty still have it? One of us do. 
I, I would like to motion to Morty for the color. Fling it over. Yeah. I'll take it. And Lucifer comes over. I wanted to apologize for the way that I issued my challenge. I can see that I was outmatched. Mm -hmm. Can I have my collar back? I did not mean to lose it. Well, I just want to say, you know, issuing the challenge, wow, a bad idea, because you're clearly outclassed by Morty. Like, who did you think you were, honestly? Uh, that wasn't the problem. The defecating on our lawn is just unacceptable so just an eye for an eye sort of thing goggles do you mind and i'll hand it over to my <laughs> raccoon to pee on it <laughs> and then hand it back over to lucifer lucifer like holds it like this while i am not pleased i understand yeah we gotta mark our territory I don't come back round. certainly understand that thank you and he carries the collar out the door leaving behind the rioting werewolves and vampires. And mm. Morty, you play on through the night. Oh, hell yeah. You've got more fans by the end of the night, and your family are now your, uh, are, are your hype people. Uh, you, you, you help with his shows. Um, you have really come together uh, with the addition of Lord <laughs> Oberon, your guest who helped bring it all together. And uh, eventually, um, the letters do arrive for Dave, and Dave is able to communicate with you better. <laughs> thankfully. Excellent. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, little shit uh, coughs up oh, yeah. a bunch of, uh, just, a, just a bunch of literature on werewolves like right after this, just uh -huh. like everywhere. Lil Shit's timing is always just the fucking worst. Well, just, the, just the worst. It's like, wow, that would have been helpful earlier. <laughs> and so you spend uh, the rest of your week basking in this victory. You know the werewolves aren't going to mess with you again. And Obron, you get to see the meteor shower like you had hoped. Oh, good. It's actually clear for once. It is clear. Mm. You got a nice clear sky and a lovely blue moon. I would like okay. to thank all of my players. Um, we are going to go around and have everybody introduce themselves. We still got a little bit of time uh, before Talma is uh, live. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. So Ta uh, Teo is, uh, I believe, live already. So we, we were good to give our outros and then scoot on over. Uh, Alrighty. So. Uh, Let's go around, and we will start at the bottom. Megan, who are you? Where do you? What do you do? Where can people find you? We started from the bottom, and we're we're still here because I we have to go around the circle. Uh, my name is Megan. I am here. I live on Reroll. This is all that I do now. This is it. Um, I only get to see the sun when they let me out of the cage and onto a stream. So, thank you for coming to watch. It was nice to have a little bit of freedom. Um, hopefully I get out of the cage again soon. Uh, you can find me at Megan is a nerd on all the socials that I happen to be on, which is most of them. I just got on Blue Sky, so there's really nothing there yet, except I've reserved the name. Uh, Megan's M-E-A-G-A-N. If you type it some other way, who knows who you'll find. Some miscreant, probably, that you don't actually want to follow. Uh, yeah. Uh, every other Friday, roughly, when things are looking good, uh, I am here in our scarred land stream and i would love if you stopped by and hung out it's always a great time it's a lot of shenanigans like this except in a uh grim bright world full of uh gods yes. and the darkest world mm. with the brightest little lights also weirdly horny but in a kind of toned down sort of way and we fight capitalism we do frequently there. yes constantly um <laughs> all right next up james who are you where can people find you I'm James, and you can find me on the socials uh, at Dice Porn, um, which I have to say, Rune, your dice were awesome because oh, um, I'm all about the clickety clacks. And um, I actually run um, a few games on um, Reroll, so Dungenerates, which is my Pathfinder 2nd Edition homebrew and includes a lot of randomization. And my mm. players get to play some of my or fight against some of my made-up monsters that they despise now. <laughs> and, 
And um, in September is my birthday month, so I'm planning on doing a, quite a few one shot. And I turned fifty, so yeah, oh. that's a, that's a thing. Happy early birthday! Happy early birthday! <laughs> All right, next up, Cody. Who are you working with? Wow, you? it's me. Uh, I, hi, I'm Cody. I I'm on reroll. I'm usually on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, today, this would be my have been my normal Friday time where I play. Uh, Beacon of Sin, which is a mass campaign. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm on Twitter, uh, Cody Reroll, pretty much, yeah, and that that's really it. Uh, but I do also run the Reroll Twitter and Blue Sky, but there's nothing on Blue Sky, Megan was right, there is nothing. <laughs> Still working on uh, that. Still yeah. working on that. Uh, yep. Say hi. Come on our Discord. Be friends. <laughs> All right. Last but certainly not least, Rune. Where can people find uh, you? What do you do? Uh, hello, I'm Rune. I do art, capital A, broad spectrum art, and hit my microphone, apparently. Uh, I customize dolls. I make dice. I'm learning how to 3D texture. I do illustration. You can find my work in the uh, erstwhile Age of Sigmar line from Pupil7 if you want to go see that. Um, you can find me on the internet at Rune Sale on Blue Sky and Twitter and ArtStation and anywhere there's a Rune Sale that isn't Reddit. Uh, that's me. So if you stumble across a Rune Sale, I'm one sorry and two hi. Um, <laughs> there You're sorry and hi. Just clarify. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, mean, not wow. as much as I'd like to be, but um, yeah. But so yeah, I I'm here with Megan on uh, every other Friday, uh, playing uh, the most emo. Emo rogue turned warlock angel bird non binary teenager ever. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things to a, a lot, lot of people. Ethos <laughs> is a mess. Anyway, come come hang out with us on Friday evenings. We'd love to see you. Uh, thank you for supporting the stream. So. Yes, thank you so much for supporting the stream and supporting uh, just helping our friend get somewhere safer. Um, we love our friends and we want them to be safe and happy. And you all have helped that with this chaos. If you want me to get a bite of banana, this is your last chance. <laughs> Um, and finally, I'd like to say we've been playing Oops All Draculas, which this will be reversed, but um, it's really great. Uh, it's by uh, Jess Markham, I believe is how it said. Yeah, Jess Markham. Uh, it's really fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I really recommend it. Please go play it. Um, you can buy it on places like itch.io. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just, I am a little hungry. I kind of want to eat this banana. I have some cake that I can eat. Uh, but I can't eat that on stream. But I can eat this banana on stream, so... <laughs> no, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. Please. I beg you. Uh, but, all right. I think we are ready to raid over. Um, let me just make sure Teo is totally live. I think everybody right now is hearing my call, so I'm going to stop that. Oh, yeah, that's why. I don't follow... Uh, or the... Roll the Rolls channel doesn't follow Teo, which we can fix that right now. Boop. All right. Excellent. I just want to make sure I was raiding the right person. All right, we are going to raid. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, goodbye, everybody. everybody. Be good. Bye. Or don't. Or don't. I'm not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> but are you their dad? I could be.